<laughs> so I I found these behind the door in the office in our in our house. Um, they're the original plans from the original buildings. My dad had them because he was uh, so much involved in the property committee and in. He was an engineer. He was an engineer. <laughs> You know, I was 12 years old that first Sunday, July of 79, and it was packed. Probably. The Sunday school was starting, mm -hmm. and uh, and I remember standing outside the. Go ahead. Well, I, I remember when we got here, I said, "Oh, this is home." I laugh about it now, but and, and mostly because. Mostly because the, the sanctuary became the chapel and it, you know, this became the sanctuary. And so the story I always told people is, oh, I remember sleeping in there, right? Because we would have lock-ins and we would, uh, we would either sleep in the multi-purpose room before it was under hall and then in, in the sanctuary. Because you could pull three or four of those yellow chairs together and uh, they were really comfortable. <laughs> It helps if you're young. <laughs> <laughs> I met people who became my friends here before I ever got to school. We went camping together. We went to conferences in California together. You know, I have a lot of really strong, strong memories from those times. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of was the, it was a, it was a, a holy week. Uh, Coral extravaganza that you guys did that I think was one of the rudder pieces. It was like a full, you know, passion sequence. And we sang part of it on, on Good Friday and part of it on, I think maybe even part of it on Monday, Thursday, and then Friday and then Sunday, if I'm remembering it rightly. But I just remember the sound in there was a, the biggest spiritual sound I had ever heard. And I remember that really, really strongly. So the other memory I have is sort of related, which is the back, the whole back wall um, was, was were, were glass doors that would open. Um, it was kind of, it was a little awkward because there was still a threshold in there, but you could put like three or four, maybe even five additional rows of uh of seats back there and that was always expansion room that was the expansion slots for easter and christmas christmas eve you were sitting in the choir and daddy and i were in the back row of the expanded rows out into the out into the the breezeway there um because the doors were open and uh, I'm sitting back there with him and, and he was just grinding his teeth because he was sure the fire marshal was gonna show up. Um, but yeah, so, you know, Easter's and Sunday's having the windows open and having extra rows out there on so many people. And you always say, this is home. Oh yeah. And I don't think if I, I th let me change that around. I think that if I had not had a place that was so much home. I would not have the spiritual life I have now. Yeah. I'm so glad that we we're doing this because that is a very special spot and it is sanctified ground. And um, lots and lots of good, happy energy that has gone into, the, into those walls and into that floor and it'll be really fun to have it back being the special spot that it is. Yeah.